it, Venti? A piece of paper? Indeed. When I awakened to find myself in the warehouse this morning, I discovered this paper in the cargo crate where I was sleeping. <laughs> I didn't think much of it then. I thought it was merely a scrap piece of paper that had fallen into the cargo. After a quick glance, I stuffed it into a place nearby. But on second thought, I think it's worth <clears throat> having to take a look at what's written on it. Let me see. Suiko chapter. Wait a minute. Isn't Suiko the name of one of the five cousins? The story told in this poem roughly boils down to Suiko getting tipsy and letting some poems that were meant for the Shogun get stolen. <clears throat> ah, this story sounds familiar to my ear. Where have I heard it? <clears throat> Seriously? It's literally the same story you just experienced yesterday! Uh, <laughs> oh, indeed it is. <clears throat> yes, I concur. The person who left this paper could quite possibly be the criminal, or even a witness to the theft. But why leave the paper here in such a fashion? And if the one who left it here was a witness, why didn't they attempt to stop the burglary? All right, let's not get ahead. <clears throat> Meeting together in Inazuma like this is a most rare occasion. Since we've been busy from the start of the day, let us find an inn with good drink to keep our thirst at bay. <clears throat> hey, okay, Venti, okay. You just sobered up and you're already thinking about more drinks? Oh, and let's not forget that Albedo still has a portrait to complete. We don't have time to be slacking off. No, it's fine. Let's all go for a drink together. It'll be my treat. Wait a minute. What about your portrait? As I mentioned before, I'm the kind of artist who can work quickly once I'm inspired. And now, it seems I've found my source of inspiration. If I use a model as reference for the piece, we must pay him back with the appropriate recompense. <laughs> In that case, we'll need to order more dishes. One year, the poet Suiko made his way to Tenshukaku and presented the Kasen's work for the Shogun's perusal. But a page from the works of Aoi no Okina had been torn out, and Suiko was questioned regarding the matter. Suiko pleaded guilty. He admitted to drinking at the tavern the night before, <laughs> and vaguely recalled a mysterious figure approaching while he was intoxicated. Wow, you really came through, Albedo. You were able to complete the first portrait before the opening ceremony. Yes, it really is a sight to behold. Not only does it hearken to the traditional style of Inazuma, but it also makes use of modern aesthetics. My figure is particularly striking. Even though I'm sound asleep in the portrait, I still appear as glorious as always. <laughs> okay, Albedo. Venti, hey, Venti. don't get too full of yourself, Tone Deaf Bard. You were just a model. The person in the artwork isn't actually you. Well, Albedo, who will be your next portrait? The next one will be Aoi no Okina of the Five Kasen. Albedo, might I suggest waiting a little before starting on the next one? Who knows? You might soon discover another story. Another story? I believe he's referring to the possibility of finding another paper with tales of the five Kasen. According to the reference materials I was given, we've only found the first of a total of four chapters. Do you think the mysterious person who left the first paper will strike again? That certainly is a possibility. Also, there are some points regarding the stories of the five Kasen that have left me rather curious. For example, the reference materials make mention of five legendary figures, yet all the popular stories only consist of four parts. It appears that throughout all the stories, there is never a chapter dedicated to Kuro Nushi. Yes, I'm also curious about these stories myself. But who knows, they may merely be akin to the old saying in Mondstadt, seeds of stories brought by the wind and cultivated by time. So for now, we need but just wait patiently. Yeah. 
Okay. I guess we'll continue up here. What are we doing? Following day between eight and ten. <clears throat> All the world holds dear is but a backdrop of constant motion. I stand before it, alone. The passenger ship from Lyra that we're supposed to meet should be arriving soon. Let's go to the docks. You know that Shincho will be on board, right? So we should be careful not to say anything about the stolen novels. I wonder who we'll meet today. This one of Yemiko is really pretty too. Super pretty. From Lira to participate in the Iridori Festival. We'll be your guides and we'll take you onto the island. Huh? Is it Paimon or have we met somewhere before? <laughs> yes, in fact, we have. I'm Shu from Feiyun Commerce Guild. Aboard this ship, we have calligraphers, painters, and even players of Theater Mechanicus. The inventor of Theater Mechanicus previously came to the Feiyun Commerce Guild seeking investment. Although the guild manager was not interested, Master still wanted to support them. We heard that they'd be demonstrating the game and letting people try Theater Mechanicus at the Iridori Festival. So the guild manager instructed Master and I to take the opportunity to come to Inazuma and investigate the product's potential. Oh! Speaking of which, where's the young Master? Ah, well, uh, Master, he's, uh... Whoa! Sincho's mm -hmm. just sitting there! Sound asleep! Uh, what? Oh... It's the Traveler in Paimon. I presume you are guests in Inazuma as well? It seems fate has destined our paths to cross once again. Oh, we aren't actually guests. We're actually guides for the Iridori Festival. Oh, please, no need to worry. I was a little too caught up in a novel on the voyage here. When I finally realized what time it was, the first rays of dawn were already peeking over the horizon. Yeah, I yes. think that's probably why we had to do arrived, so many stories before we could actually start to the, inspect our invitation letter. The, um, the Let's festival. keep it in hand, shall we? They wanted us to be updated on what everyone's been up to and how we uh -huh. know everybody. That's odd. There was a piece of paper underneath my bag. Strange. I don't recall seeing it there before. Ooh, let Paimon have a look! There's no doubt about it. It's from the same series as the story we found before! Even the handwriting looks exactly the same! The story you found before? Oh, yeah! In the warehouse down by, uh, by the... The Poem Hunt competition! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the look on my face. Like, what? I want shut up. Yeah, that's it! A friend of ours is on retail to paint portraits of the five Kassen. You know, as part of the Iridori Festival. Poetic stories about the five Kassen have been hidden in various places nearby. If you can find one of the stories and give it to this friend of ours, then there's a chance you'll become the model for the next portrait. Sure, I'll be here for a couple more hours, but enjoy lunch, I guess. Early supper? Lupper? Wait a moment. So you mean that... Uh, hey! It's hard coming up with stuff on the spot like that! 
there is a chance of meeting Kelks in person? Uh... Huh? Oh, uh, yeah! You could say that. Really? That's wonderful! I knew that Calx would attend the Irodori yeah, Festival. that's true. I'm, I'm not my father much of an early eater myself. was proving to be quite the high hurdle. I had to really rack my mind to come up with the excuse of evaluating the investment value of Theater Mechanicus. Just a few days later, word then came that Calx would be busy painting portraits of the five Kassen during the festival. It is a most rare opportunity for both Calx and I to be in Inazuma together, but it seemed he would be too busy with the portraits to meet with me. So... I felt quite disappointed for some time now. Don't worry, Shincho. Even though Calx has work to do, he still has time to see friends. We can take you to see him right now. Also, we heard that Calx did illustrations for your A Legend of Sword novel. Huh, so you've already heard. To be honest, my works have drawn little interest in Liyue. However, the novels are selling quite well in Inazuma with the help of Kalx's beautiful illustrations. Kalx is not only a skilled artist, but he also carries out his craft with great alacrity. I heard that it took him merely a few hours to finish the illustrations for the latest chapter. But when I looked at the art, the brushwork did not even look the slightest bit rushed. His work is truly exquisite. Oh my, I was beginning to get carried away there. Let us depart, quickly now. <sighs> Luckily, the idea of meeting Albedo managed to draw Shincho's attention and keep the situation under wraps. Let's just hope we don't let anything slip while meeting Albedo. Yeah, okay, Paimon. Not letting anything slip, sure. Mm -hmm. Traveler, Paimon, how are you? And who is this accompanying you? You must be Calx. It's a great pleasure to finally meet you. I am the author of A Legend of Sword, Gen... Uh, forgive me. It's rude of me to introduce myself by my pen name when meeting in person. Please, call me Xingchou. And you may call me Albedo, then. No, no. That would be most improper. <laughs> Why not? Seeing as we're both friends of the Traveler, it'd be more convenient for us to use our real names. Besides, we've already corresponded with each other many times before. In fact, I feel a bit self-conscious seeing you act so politely. <laughs> it's not just you, Albedo. We haven't seen Chincho act this awkward before either. Uh um, you guys, it's certainly not good taste for you two to be teasing me like that. Oh, by the way, we happened to find a story from the poem hunt competition at the docks. I heard that you are collecting them. Hmm? Poem hunt? Uh, you know, that thing where we have to find pieces of paper with stories of the five Kassen? Uh, Venti found one, and then he was allowed to be a model for one of your portraits! <laughs> huh? Oh, yes, that's right. Oh, we understand the story now. Thank you. It's very helpful. Splendid. Though, I'm still piecing together the story myself. <clears throat> Would you kindly explain it to me in more detail? If all of you are free, why don't we discuss this over a meal? Uh, well, about that... Do you have other plans, Shincho? Uh, no, no, not at all. Speaking of dining, Shimura's unagi chasuke is quite delicious. Would you like to go there? Shimura's? Uh, unfortunately, today is a bit windy. Uh, how about Uyu Restaurant instead? That's perfectly fine with me. But I must first unpack my luggage. Let's meet later at Uyu Restaurant. Hmm. Something didn't quite add up just now. Huh? No way! Paimon thinks we acted well together. Oh, did we say something we weren't supposed to? <laughs> No, Paimon, I'm not referring to us. Traveler, what are your thoughts? Huh? Shincho's suspicious? Hey, what are you two talking about? Paimon, 
You read the poem, right? Although it may seem confusing to Xingqiu on its own, what if we read it together with a previous poem we found? Read them together? Suiko lost Aoi no Okina's poem in a drunken stupor. So, Aoi no Okina recovered the poem and gave it to some mysterious person. Huh? Wait a minute. Could today's story be hinting that the one who stole the latest copies of A Legend of Sword is Xingqiu himself? No way! That can't be right! Xingqiu only arrived in Inazuma this morning! And that is precisely the point of suspicion. If Xingqiu had only just arrived in Inazuma, how could he recommend Shimura's Chazuke? Moreover, he didn't raise any questions when I suggested another place because of the windy weather. This means he knows that Shimura's is an open-air restaurant. Hmm. Are you saying that Shinto has already been in Inazuma for some time? And that he's only pretending he just arrived? Yes, that is indeed my conclusion. But how could Shinto be the book thief? His mission is to fight for justice, isn't it? There's no way he'd do something against his own ideals. Uh, calm down, Paimon. Even though this is the first time I've met Shinto in person, We've communicated via letters for some time now. I do have some understanding of his character. I think there must be some deeper motive at play here. The story also tells us that Aoi no Okina flees with a poem because of a threat. Oh? Could Shinju- It's difficult to say at this- I'll be relying on your assistance to get to the bottom of- Good. Then let's head to Uyu restaurant. <clears throat> <clears throat> Bit of a cough. So, what's the point of the story see anyone suspicious around. It seems clear for the moment. Let's go inside and wait for Xingqiu. Oh, this whole thing's starting to make Paimon a little nervous. What do we do? And what do we talk about when Xingqiu gets here? First, we must ascertain whether Xingqiu was already in Inazuma or not. If we can find evidence of him deceiving us, then we can use it as leverage to persuade him to tell us the truth. Since we're still waiting for him, why don't you go and chat with other guests in the restaurant and see if you can learn anything useful? Oh, we're back at Harry Housen's. The last phase of the Iridori Festival is when they release the all-new publications. The one I'm really looking forward to is A Legend of Sword. That's right. A signed first edition is going to become quite the collectible. I've got to get my hands on a copy. I've seen Gen Yu's signature before. His handwriting is super neat. He must be really diligent about his style. He'll be there in person on the day of the release, so we'll get a good look at him then. I hear that he's actually pretty young. Wait a minute. Did you just hear that? Not only will Xingqiu be signing novels at the release, but his handwriting is super neat? Is no one up here to talk to? Well, that's a missed opportunity. Hello there, what can I get for you? Hi! Do you have any special recommendations today? Why, of course. I personally recommend our freshly caught seafood. It's been pouring these past few days, so the fishing boats haven't been able to sail at all. But the weather finally cleared up today, so we have some fresh catch. So the weather at sea has been bad these past few days? It sure has. A few guests from Liyue were just telling me that their boat was heaving and rolling all the way here. They couldn't do anything but sleep the entire trip. Oh, this might be some useful information. Alpedo, what should we talk 
about when Shincho gets here? Any ideas? Hmm. I will try to break the ice by talking about our work on novels and illustrations. If he really is hiding something, then he might feel even more nervous than we do. If we start by talking about our work creating novels, perhaps he will lower his guard. Oh! Come to think of it, Shincho mentioned that he'd like to thank you for finishing the illustrations on time. He said they looked amazing despite the time you had. Is that so? Hmm. That is also a very valuable clue. Please, talk to me again. Mmm, that was delicious. Inazuman cuisine largely consists of fresh seafood, which is certainly to my liking. <laughs> That's good. We were worried you might not have an appetite because you didn't sleep well. Now's our chance. Let's talk to Shinkyo and see if he says anything useful. Maybe we could start by asking him about the journey. To be honest, there wasn't much to see. Just water all around, morning to night. The sheer monotony of the trip caused everyone to grow a little impatient. So, when the peak of Mount Yogo finally appeared in the distance as we approached the islands of Inazuma, everyone crowded the deck to have a look. However, the ship sailed along at a crawling pace. It took a whole day from the time we saw the mountain peak to the time we docked. Paimon didn't catch anything suspicious so far. Hmm. Oh, right! If it took an entire day to reach the docks, then it would have been pouring rain at the time they saw the top of the mountain. We learned a couple of things from his account, but we still require more evidence. Let's discuss creating novels with Xingqiu. Speaking of illustrations, Albedo, I've long wished to express my sincerest gratitude for providing the illustrations in my novel. My novel didn't sell well in Liyue. So I must admit that I had some reservations regarding its potential. Yet you've consistently managed to select the most important scene of the chapter for your illustrations. This made me feel as though what I was trying to express could be understood after all. Uh, thank you. However, I took some risks in the illustrations, so... I'm feeling slightly uneasy myself. Light novel illustrations are typically centered around the characters. But this time... I adopted a different approach in the illustration for the last chapter. Well, that scene was intended to depict the change in the world, so I thought it very fitting to draw only scenery. Hmm. Doesn't sound like anything suspicious has come up so far. No, there was a crack in his alibi. My illustrations were sent for printing the moment they arrived in Inazuma. So, logically speaking, there's no way he could possibly know what the illustrations look like. Uh, Shincho, we have something very important to ask you now. Oh? Why the solemn looks all of a sudden? Huh? I'm afraid I don't follow. Mr. Okazaki told us earlier that actually the weather at sea was very bad these last few days. So when you said that everyone came running to the deck to see Mount Yogo, that couldn't have happened! On top of that, the latest installment of A Legend of Sword will only be revealed at the Irodori Festival. Even we, the creators, haven't received a sample copy. If that's the case, how could you know what my illustrations look like? Uh, uh, well... The jig's up, Xingqiu. You were already in Inazuma before today, weren't you? Are you in some kind of danger but can't tell us the truth? Don't worry, the Traveler and Albedo are no pushovers. We can help you. No, no, please. You misunderstand me. <sighs> I suppose my lack of sleep is inevitably taking its toll on my mind. I didn't notice for a moment that you were testing me at all. I did in fact come to Inazuma early to handle some things. Let me consider how to explain this. Ah, <sighs> oh, this is most embarrassing. Oh, <coughs> well, if this isn't a coincidence, I didn't expect to see everyone here. Huh? Tonga Bard, what are you doing here? <laughs> I heard that the owner of this establishment has some fine-aged wines. I didn't want to miss the opportunity to taste them. Hmm. I knew you could- Says who? <laughs> In fact, I come as the bearer of good tidings. I just bumped into Kujo Sara a moment ago. She said that the Tenryo Commission has apprehended the criminal who stole all those copies of A Legend of Sword. Huh? The criminal who stole... A legend of sword? Uh, did I say something I shouldn't have? 
Oh no. The person they apprehended. Was it by chance an editor named Onodera? Apologies, Kujo Sara didn't mention a name. But I saw her taking someone toward Hanamizaka. Everyone, it's too late to explain. We must make haste and rescue Onodera. Oh no. Making haste. I'm not going all the way down there. So why? That's why he was looking wait. so sus. Onodera is innocent. Oh, so you must be the author of A Legend of Sword. I didn't expect to see others tagging along with you. Anyway, you mustn't take him away. I can explain everything. No need to worry, Zhenyu. I've just explained everything to Madame Kujo, and Kuroda has testified for me. Yes. In fact, we were just getting ready to leave. Oh, phew. What a relief. Hmm. Wait a minute. Does everyone else here already know? <laughs> <clears throat> well, to be precise, we had dispatched two additional squads here in order to prevent the suspect from escaping. Uh, Shincho looks pretty flustered. What exactly is going on? Uh, um, though it's most embarrassing, it appears quite a few people are aware of the situation now. There's no use keeping it a secret in the end. I'm the one responsible for this whole predicament. No, Jen Yu. It's only appropriate that I take responsibility for this. <sighs> Everyone, please let me explain. For the Iridori Festival, I recommended the idea of selling newly released novels signed by the authors. Not only was this the first major project I was in charge of since joining the Yai Publishing House, but Lady Yai also gave me a lot of support. However, I did not discuss our plans with the authors in advance. As a result, it caused a great deal of trouble for Jen Yu. Yes, to be frank, calligraphy is not my strong point, so signing events are really not my forte. Even though such an event will be difficult for Jen Yu, after telling him how important the plans were to me, he immediately boarded a ship to Inazuma to come up with a solution. So these past few days, Jen Yu has been actively practicing his handwriting. However, it takes time to sign each book, and we realized the time we reserved for the signing was not nearly enough. So I came up with the idea of moving the new books from the warehouse to my place. That way, Jen Yu could use these few days to sign them all. I thought everything would work out without a hitch. I never expected that someone would immediately realize that the books were missing from the warehouse. To make things worse, I was on vacation and staying with Jen Yu in my house these past few days. I had no idea that the situation had turned into such a huge mess. <sighs> all of this happened because I wanted to prove myself through this event. Onodera, I agreed to your proposal because I didn't want the readers to know of my unsightly handwriting. Also, I knew that Onodera had been misled by one of my prior signatures. At a previous event, the Yai Publishing House had requested autographs of authors so that they could be put on display. I practiced tirelessly for an entire day to finally deliver a stylish and elegant signature for the event. But looking back on it now, I had dug myself into a hole by delivering that nice signature for the sake of my pride. Hey, come on you two, loosen up a little. The theft was nothing more than a simple misunderstanding. Besides, everyone has something they do not wish others to see. Yeah, that's right! All that matters is that Shincho and his books are okay. Onodera, I think you should explain the truth regarding the stolen books to the rest of the people on Rito. Yes, I understand. I'll apologize to everyone. We should probably be heading back to Rito as well. Let's tag along.